everybody today is the day it is time to start building our yoga practice I am going to teach you how to do some of the basic poses in yoga that you will see in in most yoga flows if you go to a class or if you take my classes these poses are usually always in the sequence so I want to get a little bit deeper into them and really teach you how to get into the alignment so that when the pose is called in class you'll already be a pro I have a special affinity to child's pose because it was the first yoga pose that I ever did. My hamstrings were killing me, y'all. Like, I thought I needed surgery. It, it was just painful. I couldn't walk. I was in tears. A good friend of mine at the time who was into yoga told me, you just need to do a child's pose. And I'm like, child's pose? What? I'm not that, uh, no. And eventually he got me to get down on the floor and uh, when I tell y'all that is when I fell in love with yoga my muscles in all my hamstrings just relaxed and I was like oh my god what is this I need more let's start this beginner series with child's pose to begin child's pose come down on your mat and sit on your heels take a deep inhale and on your exhale fold your torso over your thighs Rest your head on the mat and send your hands out in front of you. Begin to consciously relax your arms, allow your elbows to reach the floor. Relax your shoulders over your knees. Begin to deepen your breath. With each inhale, fill up as much of your lungs as you can. And with each exhale, release all the tension in your body. To feel more of a widening in between your shoulder blades, send your hands behind you and allow your shoulders to melt on either side of your knees. If this is comfortable, stay here for as long as you need to. If you feel too much tension, we'll go over some ways to modify this pose. If you feel too much tension in your knees and hamstrings, you can take a yoga block and place it in between your thighs and calves. This creates more space in between your legs, allowing your forehead to reach the mat. If this is too much strain on your neck, you can place another block underneath your forehead. Remember, same options to keep your hands in front of you or send them behind you to feel that widening in between your shoulder blades. Please, by all means, invite your dog into your practice. Dogs love their owner's relaxed energy. Child's pose can also be a gentle hip opener. Take your knees further apart, away from each other. Inhale and on your exhale, fold your torso in between your thighs. Wide child's pose can make the perfect hip opener in the mornings. Play your favorite song as you ease for a few moments in this gentle hip opener. With each inhale, fill the space in your hips and with each exhale, release tension. You have the same options to send your hands behind you or because your knees are wider, you can take your arms underneath you. Tight hips can most certainly lead to lower back pain, which is why it's important to regularly stretch them out. For women, our hips are a center of gravity. If we have tight hips, the rest of our body tends to follow. If you don't have yoga blocks or you find that they're not supporting you well enough, 
You can use a pillow in between your thighs and calves. If you still feel too much pressure on your knees, you can lay a thick blanket on your mat, roll it up so it's nice and cushy, place your knees on the blanket, and place the pillow in between your thighs and calves. Now inhale and exhale, fold over your thighs. You can rest your head on the blanket here, taking your hands in front of you or behind you. Or if this is too much strain on your neck, you can place a yoga block underneath your forehead. You can either do this on the first level or rotate it up and place your chin on the block. I hope you found these tips for child's pose useful. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube and Facebook at True Vibes Unleashed. See you in the next one.